I'm at the Lierna of the Lakes um, cavern, I guess, doing some dungeon crawling. I just killed some a crazy amount of bats, plus a whole bunch of other stuff. Looks like might have something over here that's of interest. Um, the bow will do nothing against this land octopus, by the way. Let's go this way, take a peek. All right. As long as I get behind the land octopus, I should be okay. Right. If I want to kill him, that is. I don't have to kill him. I just don't want to fall. Falling sucks. Falling is going to end up smack. Just sucking. Of course, I'm not sure what is over here. Whatever it is, I want it. Those little ones, I'd like to pull them away. I got no more magic at all, and I got no more. So I'm going to change and drop that for a second. And I'm going to change this, drop those two. And I'm out of that, might as well drop that too. All right. Can't use that. I am kind of low on everything. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy here. Smoke you. And... Smoke you. And smoke you. Oops. I missed. I probably don't have to kill this land octopus, but there's something behind him that I really want. So I'm going to... All right, that looks like his back. is susceptible to fire. Dragonwood. Uh, lightning? Alright, we'll give lightning a, we'll give lightning a try. <clears throat> or maybe we won't. Dang it. FP cost. Alright, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Oh, I heard him. That was a whole lot easier than I thought. Alright, let's see what we got here. Serpent God's Curved Sword? Sweet! Let's check it out. Okay, so it doesn't have any passive effects. 113 damage is not a lot. I can already use it. It's not going to be as cool as... Oh! What? What? Up, this is gonna be. <laughs> oh man, serpent gods, huh? All right, let's put that back <laughs> for another day. That cannot compete with the Nagakiba. All right, I gotta do some research on serpent gods. Curved sword. You guys can look it up if you want to, just for fun. something awesome. It was less than spectacular. But that's why I like to go over there and do some stuff. You know, I go and take a look at it, see what everything is, see if it's any good. It could have been something amazing. And it still might be something pretty good. I just, <clears throat> at first glance, it doesn't look very exciting. Stubby short hacking weapon versus the elegant length of this amazing samurai weapon. hilarious. Oh, look at there. Now I can recharge. Alright. 
obviously can't level up, but um, let's check this real quick. set up just for the heck of it let's see if I can leave if I want to hmm I can but I'm not going to because we're not done my guess is I'm about to fa face the boss Eh, man, did I call that one or what? <clears throat> I have no idea who I'm facing, but there's a friend that wants to help me. Look at that. That's handy. Let's, uh, let's do something real quick. We're going to lighten the load. Um... Still light load. I'm going to change this guy for sure to that guy. He is pretty good, pretty tough. Um, hmm. I can wear all kinds of armor suddenly. some sort of armor, I should say. Something's better than nothing, but <clears throat> I want to be light so I can roll. I, I like being able to move. All right. I can make eight of these as a backup. Crystal darts. Could make some of those. I'm going to stick with magic and the sword. And I look really <laughs> er arist aristocratic. All right. I'm going in with sword, but I've got scepter as a backup. Let's get this guy up. The great horned Tragoth. All right. Come out. Ooh, look at that hammer. Let's see what he's going to do. Great Horn Traga. Thank you, dude, for helping me. Casual greeting. All right, kind of like where we're going with that. I don't have enough mana for that. His FP cost is 104, and my FP is 85. That is important for me to notice. <laughs> All right, we're going back to uh, we're going back to this guy. All right, not a problem. I'll have to get my uh, mind up a little bit so I can use that. All right, he's going to go in. I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to be stabbing to start with, I think. Let's just see. That guy up. Let him gain a little aggro here. Do not know what I'm facing. All right, here we go. 
It is a dragon. Oh my goodness. As with all dragons. I'm doing not a lot of damage comparatively speaking. I just got crushed. The Magma Worm Makar, huh? First of all, I need some fire protection. That will be helpful. Second of all, I'm gonna stay back and do a little bit of something else first. Hmm. Live and learn, right? Change this to four and four. Um, we'll keep our distance a bit. really want that. <clears throat> Let the demi-humans play with them a little bit instead. They're not really that tanky, but there's six of them. Hopefully we get a little bit of love from those guys. I may have bitten off more I can chew with this guy, but we're gonna let this guy do some tanking and we'll let the demi-humans kind of irritate him while I shoot him at far range. I gotta go back and find my stinking runes too, by the way. Unprepared. Okay. All right, let's try this again. I'm not dead. There we go. I would like to run past him. Go. Let's try that. Push the red button, that'll help. How the heck did he hit me that far away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
small and insignificant. Alright, tank, get in there, freaking hit him. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, my guy's dead. Good to know. And I am out of everything. All right, let's go explore. <clears throat> Take a look, a little look around. Interesting. He is not coming for me. Yeah, I didn't think I could use that, but <clears throat> for whatever reason, he's kind of, you know, not bugging me. I get a chance to think. Okay. Maybe we could just go home. <laughs> All right. I have something else that will work. That gives me some FP back. We're just kind of trying random things at this point. This should give me some FP back over time. chance I can backstab him? What do you guys think? Man, this is just going to be beating. And there's nowhere for me to really run to or work. position I can really work from. Huh. You know what I can do? If he's truly stuck, let's get rid of that. Let's pull this up. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. Just unstuck him. Apparently he is not a stupid dragon. Thought he was dumb. Not exactly dumb. I'm stuck in the fire. So 
this is a learning opportunity, if nothing else. So I am hitting his wing. He doesn't seem to care. He doesn't move, I'm gonna use every arrow I have and make some more. This is ridiculous, but it's working. So you can't lock on him because he's behind the, the thing. By the way, if this works, it's a function of observation and being patient. I could have gotten freaked out and just ran in there and attacked him with the sword. You guys saw how well that worked the first time, right? is working. I'm tearing up that wing boy. No problem, I'm out, got more. This is working, it's so crazy. You guys are gonna totally be like, oh, Curtis, you, you cheated or something. But honestly, I just observe, look for opportunities to move, get from a position of advantage, and ultimately survive. If this was the real world, wouldn't you guys be like, looking for an opportunity to win? So, the the other alternative, obviously, is. Go away, come back later when you're tougher. You know, when you got more magic, you got more abilities. I mean, my um, damage is pretty small that I'm doing. Right? The fact that it's working is just incredible. And I am officially out, right? Well, I can't make more arrows? <laughs> I can't make more arrows. All right, well, what am I going to do? Let's go to equipment. Clear that. Look that, I think I have something else in here. Got 25 of those. I got three of those. Let's see what we got.
This falls under the uh, old Boy Scout rule, be prepared, right? I just happen to have a crap ton of arrows. those no problem out of those all right don't panic let's get rid of those let's see what I got left I got 55 of the garbage arrows let's put those up I don't even know if I can hit with those they don't have fletching so I have to figure out how it's gonna fly and adjust all right, they're low. They're way low. See, so yeah, I'm using some Kentucky windage to figure out how to get these arrows over there. See how they're dropping. It just happens with these crap arrows. They're, they're, they're short range arrows. They're okay if you're shooting squirrels or something, but. I'm going to kill this dragon with the worst possible arrows and lots of patience and <laughs> here he goes, he's going down, he's going down, this is going to be awesome. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? And I got a super cool magma worm scale sword and a dragon heart. That is unbelievable. I cannot believe that worked. Well, let's go back to sword. And while we're at it, let's go back to <laughs> real armor. So being able to roll and being able to move did keep me alive. Kind of keep that in mind. Can you believe that? Man. And I got a new uh, grace. Let's go ahead and touch that bad boy. Let's go ahead and recharge. And I got enough to level up. How about that? Man. That's just, guys, That for me, that's just so amazing. It's just so incredibly amazing that that worked. While we are here, let's take a quick look at this stinking new Zord. Maybe it'll be cool. Magma Worm. I need faith. I need 18 faith to run this fire sword. Magma Guillotine. Hmm. Interesting. 24 strength and 18 faith. Strength and faith. Very neat. Well, guys, we have completed this particular area pretty nicely. I reckon I can just go back out or I could teleport out, whatever I want to do. I am kind of interested in looking around this cavern just a minute and see if there's anything cool. So I'm going to post this particular uh, video with, oh my goodness, you won't believe how I beat this dragon. Again, I'm a strength and dexterity build. You would have thought a really good sword would have worked. Right, so this is the way I came. That means that other little platform was way to somewhere else. One must wonder where it goes. So again, I used the whole cavern. I used this whole area to duck, dodge, and run, figure stuff out. Um, a little bit of luck really helped me that the 
the dragon just decided to kind of hang out back there. And maybe he was doing that for his own protection, but then he left his wing kind of hanging out there. See what we have. Didn't look like there was anything else I could do. Lay up. Where am I? Cool. The Altus Plateau. Very, very neat. Guys, we're going to call it right here. Um, I can tell you that. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to be really that lucky again. That was crazy, amazingly lucky, like you wouldn't believe. Um, I owe it to these bone arrows. <laughs> That's what I had enough of these to, to fi finish the guy off. Isn't that funny? Um, crazy. All right. Well, guys, I hope that was enjoyable and cool for you. I know you guys are probably thinking, man, you are a lucky dog, such a lucky duck. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys soon. Take care. Oh. If you liked how bizarre this fight was, casual gaming from a guy that's, I'm just out here having fun. I'm not an expert like some of these other guys. Man, do me a favor. Subscribe. Hit the notifications button. And if I can do more cool things like this, I promise you I will. I will take whatever request that you guys text me, or I should say message me on Facebook or on YouTube, and I will do my best to... Uh, build the character that you like, a uh, magic build or a faith build or whatever, and I will do some cool runs, some cool missions, kind of show you some good weapons, some good loot. Do those things, man. Support me, and I will support you. By the way, I love your comments. Give me some comments. Thanks, guys. Bye.